Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today is going to be my favourites. Now I have so many products that I'm obsessed with at the moment and I occasionally show them on Instagram but I thought there's just so many things that I love and I want to talk to you about like TV shows and podcasts as well as beauty products and fashion. So I thought that I'd sit down and film a video and show you everything that I'm obsessed with at the moment. So the first thing I'm going to talk about today is skincare. Now there is this one product that I have been using religiously for like every day for the past I'd say about three weeks and I am truly truly obsessed with it. I've gone through already half of the bottle of this stuff. This is the Rosehip Transformation Cleansing Oil by Trilogy. It's a new product from them and it is beautiful. It's formulated with rosehip papaya and sweet almond and it is so soothing and nourishing for the skin especially in winter when our skin is so dry. I really don't like to use a cleanser that's really stripping but this is just so gentle and beautiful and is amazing at removing all of my makeup. So I just use it at night, I just use two to three pumps, massage it into the skin and just use water to rinse it off and then followed by a face cloth. It removes every single trace of makeup and it's just really gentle and soothing on the skin and of course Trilogy are famed for their rose hip oil. It's amazing and it's hands down like the hero ingredient, they're the best at it in the market and I just am so in love with this cleanser. Next thing I want to talk about is fragrance. This is a limited edition fragrance from Jo Malone London. This is part of the Blossom Girls collection and it's out at the moment. I think there's two other fragrance flavours, flavours? Scents? Scents. In the collection and this is the Sakura Cherry Blossom Cologne. Honestly, it smells like springtime. I just love it. It's really fresh, really light, not too sweet, not too floral, sits beautifully on the skin and I'm just so obsessed with the packaging. Like honestly is that not just like the most beautiful thing that you've ever seen? I love it. Now on to makeup. I have a few things here that I'm loving because I couldn't just pick one. The first thing is this mascara from L'Oreal. This is the L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic Mascara. Now I'm very loyal normally with mascara. I love Benefit Roller Lash, it's my holy grail. I've used it for years, I just, I normally find it really hard to find another mascara that can live up to the hype. This is different, like it's a very different wand, it's a very different formula, but I am just so obsessed with it. The wand is like really fluffy and it's super black mascara. It's definitely really good for like wearing at night time. Um, but I just love it. It's really beautiful and it's super affordable. Like this is the perfect example that mascaras and makeup in general doesn't always have to be crazy expensive. So if you're looking for a new mascara, I highly recommend this one. This is also a new product on the market. This is the MAC Studio Water Weight Concealer. And this is like a crazy thin consistency, honestly. I'm just gonna do a drop on the back of my hand so you guys can see what I mean. So, so, so thin, but has a really beautiful coverage. Like it's really light and watery. Um, but it's very moisturizing and doesn't dry out my under eyes. So I use this for brightening and I just use a fluffy brush to kind of blend it in and make it look really seamless. But I am loving this concealer for under my eyes at the moment and I'm using the shade NC15. It's perfect for cutting out dark circles. I think because it's winter I've got like a thing for like cream based makeup products at the moment. This is a little blush stick from NARS. I have had this forever so I'm not sure if it's still available but I think you'll kind of be able to take away the concept anyway. Um, this is in the shade Orgasm, their classic blush. This is just like a little mini stick that they've got um, and I just use a little dual fibre brush. This one is by Laura Geller and I just kind of like brush in onto the product, onto the stick itself and then like smile and apply to my cheeks and I just feel like it gives the most beautiful flushed blush colour blends it into the skin really nicely. There's nothing worse I reckon than like somebody whose blush is just like bang on their on their cheeks and so obvious like you smile and you put on the apples it's like yeah sweetie we get it. Um, but this is really nice it like blends in beautifully kind of gives that like rosy hue that we all love. Um, so I'm super into that. And then another product that I'm loving 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 is Glossier Balm.com in coconut flavour. I don't know what it is with me in coconut at the moment but I am just I'm so into it. It's just, it reminds me of a tropical holiday. Like it's not a novel lip product. Like everybody has a million lip balms and do we probably need another one? No, I don't think so. But I just thought I'd share this with you because I am, I'm just obsessed with it. And that's the whole premise of this video. I'm showing things that I'm obsessed with. Okay, now I want to talk about something kind of in like the health wellness-ish area. It's a little bit beauty related, kind of. 
Um, this is Nod, and you may have seen me talk about these on my Instagram. I am working with this brand on running their social media for them and doing all their marketing. But I personally have also been using this product religiously. Mark's been using it as well. And it's just a really, really beautiful, effective product. So I'm typically a very good sleeper. Like once I'm asleep, it's very hard to wake me up. I'm not a morning person at all. But sometimes getting to sleep can be a bit of a struggle, especially lately. I've got a lot of stress going on. I know, don't we all? And it's even been really good for anxiety. So this is 100% natural. It's made in New Zealand. I also love the packaging. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous product. And I honestly couldn't have got through these past few weeks. Sorry, my phone's going off. So yeah, I'm so in love with this product. And if you're a bad sleeper and you're looking for a natural solution, I would highly, highly recommend this. Also, if you suffer from anxiety and you just like, sometimes you need something to help you calm down, these have natural anti-anxiety properties of herbs in this and I took it the other day when I had like I had a really shit anxious day and it, I was just a mess and I took some and it just made me feel so much calmer and it's a beautiful product and a beautiful ritual to enjoy so yeah this is Nod. Okay we all know that I am super basic and am totally candle obsessed so of course whenever I do a favourites video I'm going to include my favourite candle. This is a new one. I've only had this for a few days. Now this is from Le Labo and I bought it off mechabeauty.co.nz and it is in the scent Santal 26. Now I've seen a lot about Le Labo but I've never tried it and I really wanted one of their perfumes and I hadn't even smelled them before so that's a really weird thing to say but essentially I kind of knew that I would love something from them and I just didn't know which scent. So I read all of the candle descriptions and I thought that I would try it out in a candle first. Oh, it's just like, you know when you just find your scent and you're like, oh, that's like me in a candle. Suntile 26 by Lulabo is me in a candle. Um, it's really leathery and smoky and kind of masculine and musky and like very sexy. Um, not that I think I'm sexy by the way, but the smell is. And I just love it. So if you love a more masculine scent, I think you'll really enjoy this. Um, not gonna lie, it's pretty spinny um but i'm just like that and i'm super extra with my candles like candles in particular by the way can we just appreciate this little puppy who's sleeping behind me he's obviously my favorite he's just like a constant favorite in my life okay home stretch let's talk about clothes so i'm wearing this super cool dress i'll stand up so you can see it this is a slip i'll lift it up and it's a little slip dress from Maggie Marilyn. I've just put a white t-shirt underneath it because it's winter and I cannot be doing spaghetti strap right now. Like it's fucking freezing right now. Um, so I'm loving this. New Zealand designer, made in New Zealand, beautiful clothes, obsessed with like the red and pink. And also in red and pink, this is a little purse that is from New Mew. And my mum got it for me when she was traveling overseas recently. And oh my gosh, it's just like the prettiest thing ever. It's really cool because it's got this strap. So like if you're out in an event or something, um, or out for dinner, you can just kind of wrap it around your arm and walk along and you don't have to like hold the clutch all the time. Um, it's got like a nice little zipper at the back so you can pop like your house key or something in there. Really handy. Doesn't fit your phone. Unless you have like a tiny phone, but it doesn't fit mine and I've got a plus. And then inside it's like a beautiful red leather. It's got like... Um, the monogrammed logo in there and then a few card slots as well and it's just so elegant and I love wearing it. Like I love these two together, aren't they so cute? Another thing of course that I've already posted on Instagram but I thought I'd share here is this Garni knit. This is from, I bought it off Nice Porte, it's a mohair knit, this is the brand. And it has a beautiful cream ribbon at the back so you can tie it up and it's just like a nice beautiful detail on like a soft chunky knit. Um, I really love all of the detail up here and of course the sleeves are really gorgeous as well kind of tapered at the end so it has that balloon effect on the sleeve. Um, I love these with jeans it looks super cute like over this dress that I'm wearing. I just think I'm going to be living this all winter long. The only thing with it is that, of course, it's mohair, so I just kind of like molt everywhere that I go and I end up like eating fur in my food. But the price of fashion, you guys, you know what it's like. Okay, so that's all my product favourites done. Now I just want to quickly talk about some like 
cultural things that I'm loving at the moment, including podcasts. So I have a few that have really inspired me lately that I really want you guys to listen to. So if you're not already listening to the High Low, go listen to them. I had heard about this podcast. Essentially, it's Pandora Sykes and Dolly Alderton. They're two UK journalists. And I'd heard about their podcast, The High Low, but nobody ever was like, it's amazing, Sky. You need to go watch it. You're going to be obsessed with it. Not watch it. Listen to it. You're going to be obsessed with it. Like, nobody told me that. Like, it wasn't super convincing review. So I always just was like, oh, yeah, I'll go listen to it one day. I started listening to it this week and they are just so funny. I feel like when I'm listening to them, I'm sitting in a room with two of my best, most educated and most cultured friends. They're so eloquent. Their opinions are so intelligent and thought out and I just love the topics that they talk about. So I've gone right back to the beginning, March 2017. They talk about everything from like memes to politics to fashion, everything highbrow, lowbrow. So if you love stuff like that, you'll really enjoy them. So this is another podcast you have to go listen to. It is one of Oprah's Super Soul Conversations with Marianne Williamson. She wrote a book called A Return to Love and it's all about, it's really deep, but it's kind of like the purpose of life and that the purpose of life is love and the only way to enlightenment is forgiveness. It's very deep, but if you're kind of in a part in your life where you're like, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing or you just constantly feel stressed or you feel like life's not happening for you or you're just kind of having a few doubts, I suppose, you're feeling a little bit down, it's a really good reminder of how your perspective is the most important tool that you have and that things don't happen to you, but your reaction determines how you feel about things that happen in your life. It's just, it's amazing. Go listen to it. And then another one I've been listening to, which people may be surprised by, is one called Embedded. And it's by a company, I think they're a company, called NPR. Um, they do a couple of different podcasts, but I'm really loving their one called Embedded. There's a lot on Trump and the politics in the US, and they're even doing some ones on coal at the moment. And I know it might seem really boring and totally far from what you guys probably know me to be obsessed with. But I love American politics. I find it so fascinating. Like JFK's um, tenure as president, just like, oh my God, I can read about it forever. Just so interesting. And now I really love listening about Trump and how he even managed to get the hell into the office um, and what went wrong essentially as well. So that's a really great podcast if you're into American politics. Now, I just want to quickly talk about TV shows. Also on American politics, there's this show that um, Mark and I have discovered on Netflix. It's called Designated Survivor. And it's essentially everybody in government gets killed in a terrorist explosion. And so there is the guy who's like 11th in line to become designated survivor and become president of the US. It's like edge of your seat intense. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with it. Drama, politics, there's a love subplot. It's amazing. So if you're looking for a new show on Netflix, highly, highly, highly recommend. And then also, of course, who isn't watching The Handmaid's Tale? I first binge watched the whole season when Mark and I were flying back from San Fran. Maybe we flying to and back, but anyway, fell in love with it then, had been waiting and waiting and waiting for season two, and now they're finally dropping it out one episode per week on Lightbox. I wish it was there to binge watch. I really do. I feel like it's just not fair to do that to people these days. I'm not used to sitting down and watching one episode at a time. That's not how my life works. But anyway, I'm having to deal with it. So every Thursday, I think it's like 7 p.m. Lightbox is releasing new episodes of Handmaid's Tale. And I'm addicted. Like I, it actually kind of scares me that she managed to write the novel way back, like fucking over 30 years ago. And the relevance of it today is eerie. Like it's so crazy. Um, so if you're not really into Handmaid's Tale, but you want something else that's very... I mean, like, I'm not normally into sci-fi, well, not sci-fi, but what do you call it? Like, dystopian? I'm not normally into stuff like that, but, oh, God, I just can't get past this one. I am addicted. Okay, you guys, thanks so much for watching. That's it from me. These are all of my favourites I'm obsessed with at the moment. I'm sure I'll do another one in a couple of months. But for now, these are my holy grail products, the ones I am genuinely, genuinely so in love with. Can't look past. Also, obviously, all the TV shows and stuff. Can you tell that I'm really passionate about American politics? I'm like showing my geeky side. It's, I would say it's embarrassing, but it's not because it's just who I am. 
Anyway, thank you so much for watching. All of the links to buy the products will be down below and I will also leave links to the shows and stuff and podcasts so that you can watch and listen to those as well. As always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you click the like button and subscribe because it really helps me out and I will see you in my next video. Thanks!